I know it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, trust me, I've got content. Here's a sneak peek. We're installing the CTS blow-off valve. See, I just lost a bunch of coolant. <coughs> Got it in my mouth. It's everywhere. That is not good. What's up, people? How you doing today? So today, well, not really today. This is future me talking. But I put coilovers on the car, and uh, they're pretty good. So the car has been lowered on BC Racing coilovers, and uh, I've put some miles on them. It took a little bit for me to get used to the stiff suspension compared to the already stock stiff suspension. and uh, But now I'd say it's pretty comfortable. Right now I got the winter tires on and uh, that's actually a lot softer compared because they got a higher profile tire compared to the 18s which are a lot smaller side profile. Yo, drop a like on this video because the other day I went hard getting some shots for you guys. So, this is what I had to go through. My summer wheel setup was all put away while the GTI was dirty with its winter tires on. So, four tire changes later, a car wash, and a spray wax and dry off, I was finally ready to reveal the car. <laughs> As for installing them, well, this kind of got a little interesting. So the rear was a little challenging, but as time went on, it actually got really easy once I figured out what I was doing. Lower control arms down, and then now I gotta just get this. So here we have the stock spring for the rear, and here we have the new BC Racing one. Disassembled our top part of the strut off of this one. And now I gotta transfer this on over to the new uh, strut right here. Have our strut assembly here and have the mounting point right here attached. All right, so finally got it all back assembled together with uh, quite a bit of fighting to get the last, uh, the bolt to thread straight through the bottom of the strut right into the uh, wheel assembly. Torqued everything down and um, now it's time to lower it. All right, so finally got both the rears done. Second one was way easier. I did that all by myself in like a fraction of the time, maybe a quarter of the time it took me to do the first side. Once you learn how to do it, it's so much easier. Now the fronts. I was so excited to start doing the front coilovers of this car so I could completely lower it myself. But it got really challenging super quickly. It's really just a small problem, which was the nut on the sway bar end link. So normally you should be able to hold it still and then be able to back it off. But my problem was it just kept spinning the whole thing. I couldn't have a good enough angle to hold something. I'll just show you the clip. So this nut here 
the spins. Oh, no, I'm not gonna really fit this. But on the new end links, there's a spot to put a Torx bit that'll hold that stud still while you can spin the nut off. So, I don't know why the ones that were on there didn't have that. I don't know if they were aftermarket, like a replacement AutoZone part, or if those were the OEM Volkswagen ones. I don't really know. Yeah, so I had a shop do the front coilovers and install them and do a four wheel alignment while the car was there. But the funny thing is when I called them, I was like, yo, I'm trying to get some coilovers put in. Cause they, on, their adver on their website, they advertise that they do performance upgrades. They'll like turbo your car or like tune it. They're an APR dealer as well. And they do like aftermarket suspension and coilovers and they have all this stuff advertised. And that they're like a German car specialist where they work on Volkswagens, Audis, Porsches, whatever. So they should be pretty good, right? But the guy, well, it was first a woman on the phone and she didn't know what to do when I was asking about coilovers. So a guy picks up the phone and then he starts like, oh yeah, we used to do that, blah, 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 blah. It's like, they're basically trying to turn me away as a customer because they don't want to put coilovers in my car. They're like, oh, because you're not going to be here to see this low or to see how low it is and then like, that's why I bought the coilovers, so I can adjust the height myself. They, they just wanted to be able to do the four wheel alignment correctly. And I just get it close, like, as long as it's close and I can drive straight, I'm, I'm fine, you know? After paying way too much money for them to install it, uh, which was crazy because if you supply your own parts there, they charge extra per hour. Like, you already have a high labor rate, and then it goes up even higher just because you have your own parts. Like, well, how else do you get your own custom coilover parts put in? It's kind of ridiculous. So when I picked up the car, I went to go drive it home. And right away, I felt like, whoa, this thing is stiff. I mean, it looked good, too. Like, it was had that nice stance, lowered look. But when I hit that first corner, I was like, yes, this is so cool. It was very stiff, it just felt so solid. But when I went to the highway, I hit some rough patches because the highways here in New York are just destroyed. And uh, I started hitting bumps and the whole car was like, duh, 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 duh. and like the radar detector was falling off the windshield and it was crazy. I was like, how is all this just happening? And I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, the coilovers with adjustable dampening. So when I get home, I'll just turn the dial, right? So as I thought. So I open the hood, lift the rain cover, and there's no adjustment knob. So I had to go, and I didn't have my spanner wrenches either to adjust the coilovers. So I had to call up the shop and be like, yo, where are the rest of my parts at? because they totally just robbed me of my own like suspension setup. They kept the, the spanner wrenches for adjusting the height and they kept the adjustment knobs to adjust the dampening of the front suspension. Anyways, I had to go back the next day and pick those up. So then I could finally soften the suspension and uh, I left the, the height where it is because it's, um, it actually doesn't even rub when I have a car packed full of people or packed full of stuff. I can load this car up and it's the perfect daily driver while still maintaining a nice sporty low look and getting rid of that wheel gap. So for now, I think I'll leave it like that. If I'm really bored in the summertime, I will like, I might slam it. Who knows? No guarantees, but it's there. I just realized I didn't close out the video. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.